Great morning, holy brothers and sisters! It is the 20th of Av, and in the Kitzu Lakuti Maharan, today's lesson will be called Depressing Dumps. Teaching number 48 later makes the following statement. And know that as soon as a person wishes to enter into the service of God, and he wishes to become a devout Jew, it immediately becomes a very grave sin for him to be depressed, God forbid. This is because depression is the other side, and God hates sadness and depression very much. May God save us. The Holy Tikkun Ezar at the beginning of page 59 states, A person who wishes to appear in Jerusalem for the pilgrimage festival must guard himself from depression, which is, Lee and Lis, the darkness and depression. For depression is considered both a blemish about which is said, Any man who has a blemish shall not draw near. Leviticus 28.18 And a person who is depressed is blemished. May God save us. It is not just good to be positive and filled with simcha joy, but it is actually a terrible transgression and a vera as well to be down and depressed. A person must fortify himself so that he will come to joy in any way he can, and he must strive to seek and find some good point in himself in order to come to joy, as it is taught in the verse, I will sing to God with the little that I have left. Psalms 146.2 Lukut Maran 1.282 At the very least, a Jewish person can always be happy that he merited to be a Jew, and everyone can always be happy that they are alive and able to do teshuva and always come back closer to the Creator. This fact alone is certainly cause for wondrous and boundless joy, and there is nothing in in it that can demoralize a person because it is the doing of God himself. For the evil one can always find some way of tainting everything with depression and sadness. But the joy over the fact that God made him as he is, insofar as it is the doing of God himself. For no matter what else may be, the very fact that a person merited to be a Jew, or even to be, knowing God on some level, it is indeed cause for great and boundless joy. It is appropriate for a person to be constantly happy about this fact all his life through whatever may happen to him, and he should make a habit of joyfully singing aloud in his heart, Blessed is our Lord who created us for his honor, who separated us from those who err, and who gave us his Torah of truth, who sanctified us with his commandments, who brought us near to his service, and in whose great and holy name we hail. No matter how down in the dirty dumps our evil inclinations may try to tell us that we may be, recognize that there is always something that we can be thankful for. As always, thank you so much for learning together. If you enjoyed this lesson, please remember to like, comment, share, and borrow. And please, God, we'll learn again tomorrow.